So I guess since my Samsung frame install videos rank one through five on YouTube, maybe it's time that I actually do a Samsung frame review. So stick around and get the pros and cons from a pro on if the Samsung frame is worth it. What's up on Be The Installer? Um, I've been doing Samsung frame installs for quite some time, and if you need a video on how to install a Samsung frame, check out one of the videos linked in the description. And while I'm talking about the to-dos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell set to all to get all the tech and TV reviews and installation help. And once you realize how awesome this video is, smash the like button, show a little bit of love, supports the channel, thank you. So though I've been doing installations for quite some time, I really hadn't thought about offering my opinions on the specific TVs until recently. But people are quite interested in my opinions of what the best TVs are and what is and isn't worth it, especially from the end user perspective since I'm in front of so many people. And the same thing goes for the Samsung frame. I've seen a lot of these installed and I really have a good understanding of the pros and the cons. So I'm gonna first go over some of the features of this TV and then get into the real nitty gritty, the art mode, let you check it out. And by the end, I'm gonna answer that ultimate question. Is the Samsung frame worth it and why? So the Samsung frame is a really cool looking TV. No other TV comes looking like a picture frame. And over the years, I've had a lot of homeowners and companies that have asked me to find a way to put a frame around their TV so it didn't look so ugly on the wall. And since 2017, the Samsung frame has been the answer to that. We're gonna focus primarily on the 2020 Samsung frame, and I'll give you a little bit of the differences between that and older versions. So first off, in the box, the Samsung frame comes with the One Connect box and the No Gap wall mount. The One Connect box has all the smarts in it, like the HDMI ports, the Ethernet ports, optical, USB, all of the brains of the TV. And it makes it really easy for you to set this box on a dresser or on a table or under a table or a dresser. You can hide that One Connect box anywhere you want because the remote actually connects with Bluetooth. And when you turn the TV on, the One Connect box also feeds power to the TV. So it's kind of like the TV's a monitor in a sense. In addition to power, the audio and the video also travels through that one wire to the TV. And why am I telling you this? It's because that's the reason the TV can actually sit flat against the wall is because it just has that one wire connected to it and the no gap mount helps it sit perfectly flat against the wall. The no gap mount is one of the most simple mounts there is. You just pop it on the wall and you hang the Samsung frame on it, kind of like an art piece. And while you can tilt the TV down, you cannot turn the TV left and right, which a lot of people do ask me. So the TV coming with the no gap wall mount and the one connect box should be factored in when thinking about buying this TV as they are great benefits. So the TV is a VA panel and for LCDs, that means it's got pretty good contrast. It also has pretty good SDR peak brightness and decent HDR peak brightness as well. However, the Samsung frame does not have that anti-reflective coat that some of the other QLEDs has. So it's not great in a super bright room with a light directly behind you, or if you're watching it from extreme angles. But the TV is pretty good at upscaling both standard and HD content, and it looks really good with HDR. And funny enough, the Samsung frame's pretty good for gaming as well. In 2020, they've added a couple new sizes, including the 75 inch, and the 55 inch and larger both have 120 hertz refresh rate and free sync for gaming. I'm not sure how many people are gaming on this TV, but hey, it's got it. The speakers in the TV are facing downward and are actually pretty decent as well. And on the One Connect box, it actually has an eARC port, which is the enhanced audio return channel. And so it can take high quality sound like Dolby Atmos and run it into receivers and sound bars like the Sonos Arc. I actually did a review on the Sonos Arc as it's a new speaker, so go ahead and check that out. And it's actually a quite stylish speaker to add with the Samsung frame. Here's an Instagram picture of the Samsung frame with the white bezel that was paired with a Sonos Arc in white as well. Besides adding different sizes, the 2020 Samsung frame also boasts a better score via ratings.com at a 7.6 versus a 7.4 for the 2019. One of the bigger jumps this year was actually watching movies in both standard and in HDR. The software is upgraded as well and the smart TV looks a little cooler than the 2019. And a couple other differences in these two TVs, the customizable bezels will not work from year to year, so the 2020 customizable bezel is different than the 2019. However, if you want to get an in-wall rated one wire, so that you can put it inside the wall, or if you need a longer cord, those are the same from 2019 to 2020. Anyways, those are the features, and those are some of the questions that I get asked. But let's get into the really cool parts about this Samsung Frame TV, which is art mode. So there are TVs that are black rectangles on the wall, 
and then there's a Samsung frame. And as I said before, the Samsung frame is in a class by itself regarding looking like art. And currently there's no one even close to replicating this cool look like the Samsung frame gives you. Besides the TV shape, the art mode is by far the coolest feature on this TV. The TV looks absolutely stunning in art mode. In many situations where I've installed it, People can't even tell which piece is the art and which piece is the TV, unless you really know what you're looking for. And to be honest, sometimes the TV looks better than other art because it may have a glass finish. And if you have a lot of reflections on some of those art pieces, the frame actually looks like a real clean piece of art. And you can actually get pretty crazy with what kind of art you can display. So anyone that purchases a 2020 Samsung frame gets three months free of the Samsung art store. Now you don't go straight into the art store to get it, you actually have to download and go into the Samsung promo app on the TV. But once you do, you get signed up for it, good to go for three months. And once you're in the art store, the sky's the limit. There's so much cool art in there. And yes, you can customize your frame and it can look really cool with the different kinds of frames. But even if you just stick to the traditional black, you can then add a border around a picture and make it look cool. So it doesn't really matter what color the frame is. You can do that depending on how your room looks, but it's just cool to mess around and have all these different options of arts and borders and bezels on an already pretty cool TV. And even cooler, you can add your own art. So you just go into the Samsung Smart Things app and connect that and you can upload all kinds of art yourself. You can stack multiple images next to each other, add borders, so the sky's the limit of what you can do. In addition to adding borders and customizable frames, you can also raise or lower the brightness of the art. You can also set the TV to detect motion, so when you come into the room in the morning, it pops right onto the art mode. And of course, you can power the TV completely down, so if you go on vacation, it's not rotating through art when no one's home. I hope I'm being very clear, but this TV is a very, very good piece of art. In fact, the Samsung frame is most interior designers go-to piece. That's how I came to be doing YouTube videos. The first thing that I did was install a Samsung frame for Shara on Live Your Style, which is now Kinwoven. So shout out to Kinwoven. I hope you guys are doing great in Tulsa. But let's get to answering the question that I posed in the beginning of this video. Is this TV worth it? Is it worth it with the art? Is it worth it as a TV itself? So as a standalone TV, it would be tough to justify this cost if it didn't look so cool because the specifications on it are somewhere between the Samsung Q70T and Q80T, which are significantly less cost than this TV. But neither of those TVs has the no-gap Walmart or the OneConnect box, nor can they display art mode. Even though they have an ambient mode, it's not the same and it doesn't look nearly as good as the art mode on this Samsung frame. But on the other hand, it's not a terrible TV. It does rate at a 7.6 on ratings.com, which is above average. So price, TV, art, I guess it's a good thing that it does have the art mode and it does look so cool. In fact, just because it is an art piece, it settles a lot of disputes between spouses. There's definitely been examples where one person wants a TV in the bedroom and one person doesn't, and this can kind of satisfy both needs. Bad choice of words. So just remember guys, if the wife doesn't want a TV in the bedroom, just tell her you're buying her an art piece. So I'm sure solving that problem alone is worth some sort of dollar amount. But seriously, if you start to factor in how cool this TV looks when it's off in an art mode, along with the fact that it's a pretty good TV, especially when upscaling standard and HD content, and it looks really good in HDR, and you can game on it, I can see why this is a pretty popular product by Samsung. Add a customizable bezel, maybe a nice Sono soundbar, you got yourself a winner. So is a Samsung frame worth it? I think so for many people. Now, if you wanna turn your TV or if you just wanna have a really good picture quality and you don't really care about the art mode, there's a lot of other TVs, including the Samsung Q90T, which I've reviewed, along with other 4K TVs, and I've done the best 4K TVs of 2020. So you can check all those things out. But if you are looking for a really good art piece on the wall, you want a great looking TV, this is the one for you. But the price does reflect that you're getting all of these things and not just one of them. So Samsung knows what they're doing. Hopefully the price has come down, but it is one of my favorite TVs. So let me know what you think. Do you guys like the Samsung frame? Hit me up in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help you out. So make sure to do all the fun things on your way out. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get all the uploads. And just remember with my help, you can be the installer.